All right, Dice Folk, Warrior Talisman. We're going to jump right into this. Tried one run already in the full game here and got bodied because I greeted for money. Let's try and work our way towards the Chimera and maybe check them all out before we get them. Lunago and Mink Pocket at the start here. What's up, my dudes? We get to attack on the start because of the ability. You got buff strength. I don't want you attacking. Clash attack with you. Mm, but I'd rather somebody else take the damage. Maybe I... I, I hmm... I don't want to damage you. I want to rotate. I want you to attack this guy here. I don't want to buff them yet because I want to keep you alive because this guy steals money. Wait, I have no money for you to steal yet, so it's not that big of a deal now, is it? Unless I can go to the negative. Buff my attack for a single turn there. Attack for an extra six damage. Hit the end turn here. Turn start. This guy buffs him. That's his ability. Buffs with the guys at the start of the turn. Um, enemy range attack. Random rotation. I can... I want to attack you first. Let's hit this guy for... I mean... Uh, we gotta take some damage. I'd rather... Uh, rotate this. This guy will hit for five. And then we will rotate the enemies. We control both sides in this game. Enemy range attack. Um, I guess it didn't matter. Let's just focus on this guy right here. We gotta replace one Chimera early on, so we'll get one guy down real low in hit points and replace them. Looking like this guy, he only has four attack. He's kind of weak in hit points. You both have four, so... Might as well have you attack. Can I take you up this turn? No. So you can do your range attack on this guy over here. And then we can rotate. You have to use all their dies for you to end your turn. That's how the game works. If you haven't seen the previous video. And we will uh, attack you for five. And then we will... I don't want to rotate here because I might rotate the wrong way. Alright. And clash attack. What I can do is I can attack for five here. Takes you out. I lose no gold. Yeah. We attack like this right here. Takes you out. And mm, I guess you can take some damage here. Clash attack. You take him out. Boom. We walk away with six gold. The mink pocket stole nothing from us. You evil little money stealing thing. When you kill it, you don't get any bonus. It gives you three gold regardless, no matter how much it stole from you. Well, if you have zero gold, I'm not sure if it steals from you or not. Oh, hello. Lycanus. Turn start. If health is not full, attacks the opposing leader. So once this guy's been hurt, it'll attack the opposing leader for six at the start of the turn. That's kind of good. That's kind of, like, really good. Do I wait to check out the other Chimera? Just grab this guy. Hmm. I think waiting to check out Chimera options is probably the better idea. I need to go check out the other Chimera statues, though. Well, we might go for that guy. They seem good. Also, there's more than just the one area of the map there. There's other areas. All right, so we turn... This guy's on spawn the attack, which is good. That's why you like that. In the, in the, these guys, they also have the same thing. They're just kind of weaker. Less damage, right? You uh, have, have been attacked, so we don't want you to do the clash attack. So you hit for a lot. This guy's going to make us rotate. I don't have a way of rotating you guys, unfortunately, is the problem. So I'm just going to have to take six damage from this guy. Maybe put on my Bayloid C. Maybe the Bayloid B. Well, let me just remember where it rotates. So let's attack you first for six. And... Oh, no. I shouldn't have done that. It made you stronger. Whoops. Okay, luckily it rotated the right way. And uh, we'll hit right there. Took three more damage than needed to there. Whoops. At least don't get to rotate this. No, you don't have to use that die. It's just there to let you know. This thing can't always be useful. All right, you want to do a clash attack, which would take that guy out. So we need to rotate. And, hmm. If I rotate to you, it might be, uh, let's, let's just do this. Do the reckless attack over here. And then we'll do a rotation. Okay, I guess I should have waited and had you got the buff, but whatever. We're taking this guy out this turn. I'll rotate it again, but we'll take you out this turn. With the attack right away. There we go. Taking a lot of damage early here. I think they buffed the difficulty. For, like, demo felt easier. I think they made it harder in the full game. Like, they adjust the stats of the enemies or something. Uh, lightly heals the Chimera of your choice. This usually heals for four. So I'm going to do it on you. Yeah. Maybe sometimes it does five. Also, we have a heal token up here I can use if need be. I don't actually want to get the Brood Bears yet. Because what they do is buff stat. It, it, they like increase max hit points. I'd rather not get that yet. I'd rather get that and apply that to this guy. I'm just, you know what? We're not going to check the other statues. Because I, I don't want to... Wait. Oh, I, I can't go check the statue and grab him back? I have to change my mind? Okay, some force. Do I get this... In, I, 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 I don't want to buff this guy with... Per, this buffs hit points permanently. I don't want to buff his hit points permanently if I'm probably going to replace him. Um, I guess we could try to work our way over this statue and don't go for the broodberries. Because you can't just like... You can't walk. You can't bypass it. All right. Should have just taken the guy from the thing, but I got greedy. Alright, we 
Taking three damage from you is not so bad. This guy might have to take some damage here a little bit. Let's heal him up a little bit. Um, it's idle die. Somebody's got attack. Three hit points. Better than you robbing me. And then I can. So have to do after that. Take you out, or do I rotate? No. We take you out. Uh, I don't need to rotate here. I don't think. And why'd you guys rotate? Because you took that guy out. End turn. Hmm. I could take you for six. You attack me for four, better than getting robbed, or I could rotate. Might not. No, four would be lethal if I rotate the wrong way. It's random. So we attack you right there for six. You attack me for four. Bail it A, taking some pain here, unfortunately, but it's better than this guy robbing money because the money is precious hard to come by. Hmm, that would be lethal on you. I don't want to take you out. I could. Well, I don't want you to attack either. I could take you out with that. No. Clash attack first. Do that, like so. Okay. And then we do a reckless attack on you. I want to rotate to the left, so we will chill there. Oh, a taunt. That's great. He's not going to do anything to me, so I can bulk up here. That's a good one for them to get here for me. I have a random taunt. All that does is make it so like, oh, you have to attack them. I mean, I, they're, they're the designated target. You're the only one left. You know? We end turn, and then we take you out, and we made it. We're hurt. A lot, but, you know, eventually we, we replace a lot of these guys, right? Mmm, chest, okay, we take that. Better than a fight for us right now. Sacred beads, equipment, we like equipment. Battle end heals two hit points to a random ally, including self, up to six times! That's really good! That's really, really good! <laughs> up to 12 hit points healed at the end of every fight? That's amazing for us. Uh, Chimera Shrine. I think we're just gonna grab this one. What we got? Ooh, this guy. This guy's one of the elite battle guys we can fight. No more opponent dice attacks the opposing leader. So, once per turn, he attacks for free. There's a lot of guys that have this once per turn, they attack for free. So, once per turn, after they use their dice, you will attack for four damage. You have 20 hit points. This guy's 18 hit points. Um, I think this guy might be better. Two less hit points, but he has two more attack. If health is not full, Attacks the opposing leader. So all I need to do is get him hurt by have him take one attack. I mean, this guy doesn't have to be hurt, but um, what if I don't want to use all the amulets? Well, you have to. I think the fact this guy will hit for six is just he's just better. Uh, we will recruit you. Do we replace the guy with only four attack or the guy who's about to be pushed out of the fight? Probably the guy's about to be pushed out of the fight. No, I want that five attack, but then again, he can't. I'll replace them both eventually. Uh, we recruit you and replace... Mm, I can heal you, I guess. Replace this. I can use the heal all token if need be. Yeah. That'll be fine. We dip out of there. Also, this does turn into another reward if I don't grab it, right? Maybe it doesn't. Uh, bonfire to... like. Uh, I can sew another equipment slot. Save the bonfire for later. Let's go over here. We need to do some regular fights. And then get that sacred beads to heal me for up to 12 hit points. Yeah. Just need to survive this fight, and the Sacred Beats will do a lot of work for us. Nice early attack. You get the buffing attacks. So I want to rotate you and have this guy attack with a Clash attack, which will rotate my team. But I do have a guard. Um, I mean, you could do this. What do we want to do here? Do I rotate first? Doesn't really matter. I actually kind of want this guy to... I want this guy to take damage. Put this shield... Do I want you to take four damage, though? I actually do. I'll, I will guard this guy here. You can... Uh, work, start working on this guy's health over here, I suppose. Six damage there. And then we rotate. We don't want you attacking. That'll reset itself at the end of the turn. And then, you wouldn't think I want the, You wouldn't think, oh, you hit the shield! No, I want this guy to take damage. That way, at the start of next turn, he attacks the leader for free. And just never heal him to full. Although the Sacred Beads might actually start healing him to full sometimes, so... <laughs> the Sacred Beads could do us a disservice. Oh, but this free attack for six is huge. Yeah, that guy's gonna be great. That guy's gonna be great. Clash attack? Um... I mean, yeah, we can clash attack. Take you out. And breaks the shield. Still got the value from the shield. Take you out here. I mean, six free damage every turn. If I keep this guy hurt, it's great. Now, where's the Sacred Beads healing? There it is. Don't heal him all the way. Don't heal that guy all the way. Two. And there's three... Oh, oh, it's random how many gives you. Up to six times. Not based on health, just like an RNG. Gotcha. Well, that's, that's, that's still got me six health back. It's still doing great things for us. 25 gold. I mean, we can just keep doing regular fights and just effectively healing off of them and exploring the map a bit more. 
Seems good. And that guy still hurt, so he... Oh man, this, look at that, 6 damage. Now they're 12 damage for free at the start! It's amazing, this guy's great. I need to get some weapons on him to, like, buff him. Attack, loses 1 strength for the rest of the battle. No effect. Uh, random rotation. Um, I'd rather have you attack with 4 than risk this guy attacking with 6. I mean, we want to keep this guy's hit points low. Let's actually... I mean... Do I want to take that guy out and have it rotate? I mean, I could just take this guy out with that hit. Do a random rotation. Hmm... Might rotate the wrong guy. I'm gonna rotate here. Have a... Uh, have you guys do a clash attack here. There we go. Take some damage that way, you know, in case the thing heals too much. Rain rotation, because I don't want you in the front. Well, I can actually do an attack here first to soften you up. And then rotate you out of the front. And then end turn. Turn start, free six damage, love that. Um... Free rotation? Or attack. Uh, better get attacked by you. I don't have lethal here. Hmm. I can have you attack and have this guy take the damage. I won't soften this guy too much. Get bodied. Oh, here's the thing. I messed that up, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Forgot about it. I still need to have them attack. All right. Uh, if I rotate to the right, this guy gets KO'd. Don't love that. Guess you're going to take some damage here. Oh, that's not good at all. Could avoid that entirely. Uh, end turn. You attack for free is amazing. And six is lethal. Right, we, we could avoid a couple more points of damage there, but overall it's not bad. 33 gold is a lot so far. We're doing very nice. Love this rest. And healing is good. There's one, there's two. Only two? I mean, I'll take it. Like, a little bit more would be nice. Charge token. Leader gains plus one intelligence forever. When I when I use this. It's not right away. A stat that's not found on all chimeras. It represents the blink value. So this would do nothing to my current guy, so I won't use it right away. You need a chimera that actually has, like, an intelligence-related ability, which... These guys don't. Mmm... Brood berries. I mean, brood berries would be the time... We're not gonna get another chimera. Wait, we might actually. Scrollmaster. Forgot. You get two chimera in the first area. One from the statues, one from this. What's up, uh... Humpback guy, Svindel? Enter lead if health is not full game focus. So we got guys that all benefit from being hurt. Well, clearly we replace you. It's only eight gold. It's worth it. Grab you. Replace this guy. Thank you. And we want, we also want you to be a little bit hurt. So everybody apart from my main guy benefits from being hurt a little bit. Not too much. Just make sure it can't go back into that. And now we can do the brood berries to improve max health of guys. I'll stick around. Um, Grant plus one strength. This guy, clearly. Clearly the guy who, although you would do normally, if you're injured, enter the lead, you get one attack that does. So every time this guy leaves and enters the lead, he does, you know, 10 instead of 5. But this would make it 12 instead of... 10. But this guy attacks every single turn without even even need to like rotate or anything. Give it to this guy. Give it to them. Just to you. Uh, abandoned tent? What we got? So travel bags. Hmm. Who? I think this guy is going to stick around for the full run. I'll give it to you. I think that guy sticks around for the full run. Guaranteed. Um, I'm not sure it matters who was holding it. In case I end up replacing this guy and forget to swap equipment on equipment for now. What do you have in here for me if I don't? Oh, so if I just pick the first Chimera that picks, uh, that shows up, I get rewarded by getting loot from the other Chimera thing. So it actually does help you to pick the first one right away. So you want to pick right away. Five gold, love that. Revives and or lightly heals the Chimera of your choice. Lightly heals the Chimera of your choice. Let's do, um, a little bit of this for you, plus four. Let's get you uh, a bit more. That'll be fine. Because you are taking damage, right? I don't even lead. No, I don't. Boss, shop, dice smith, elite battle. Let's do the elite battle before. Do these things last, that way I have as much gold as possible. And, um, you know, what I get from this will change what I choose to get from that, right? You know, because this guy has rewards that might negate what I buy from the shop, like planning wise. That's 13 damage right out the gate. I'll put a taunt on you is fine, because I don't mind attacking you, anyways. Oh, it goes to them. All right, I, I forgot to set a random ally. All right, I guess we're attacking them. Not the big of a deal, frankly. Hmm, yeah, sure. I mean, you could rotate it. This guy does more damage. Actually, I want to keep him alive and focus them. Uh, we don't need to rotate. You guys have to rotate. I have to use our dice for the turn ends. Do I care about rotating here? Hmm, not sure it matters where you're at. I mean, you do more damage. You do, you hit for seven instead of six, so... There we go. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't have... Yeah, we should have done things a little bit differently there. I need a, I need a plan... I mean, I have to use a rotates regardless. I rotate here, you go to the front. I need you to attack first for two, I think. 
like that. And I can attack... I need, get, I need to get that guy hurt. I attack you, like so. Rotate. And turn, you'll take another... Yeah, you heal for two, but I hit for seven at the, at the start for free. Man, that's really good. And, um... Uh, I can rotate... Do a random? What's your build? You only hit for four. I don't want to use... I don't want to use all my dice because I got... Because I have free attacks, I just won't rotate here. Buff myself. Do an attack on you. Range lets me choose. I mean, you attack for four is better than this guy attacking for four and rotating me when I don't want to be rotated. So let's have you do the random right now. You're rotated. Um, I'm okay with you being the front and taking the hits. I mean, I have to, ro I have to rotate the third dice. End turn here. This guy's getting hit for seven again. The buff wore off. I don't want to take you out. Do a random rotation and hopefully get a chance to... Not, I should have had the, I should have clashed first. Hmm, clash is gonna rotate me here. It's not the end of the world to rotate here, frankly. Um, I guess we'll do this. Don't if you if you incapacitate yourself from reckless. Man, I can't talk today. All day, all the recordings today, I can't talk. And get the hit here, I guess. I need you to take some damage. Actually, would be good. That'd be fine. You heal a little bit. I don't mind it so much. Softens you up. I want you to hit just so this guy have his has his stuff like ready for in the future, right? No, that rotates as well here. I can rotate, hopefully get this guy in the front. No, the little boy. We take him out though. Put somebody else in the front. Get some money here. I guess we'll do our seven damage on this guy. Take him out. Beautiful. Rotates to you. And we man, this Lycanus guy is they're real good. They're real good. Real good. Healing for yourself. And that's four. And that's six. That's great. Keep you guys. I want them hurt, but not, like, hurt by much. Um, equipment. Helix Pendulum. Attack. Inflicts plus two confusion on the target. Confusion every time it attacks. An affected Chimera takes an amount of damage equal to confusion value. So I stack confusion on them. When they attack, they hurt themselves. Um, that's good. So who, who attacks a lot? This guy attacks a lot. Um, you attack a lot. Maybe put this on you. You attack a lot because of, um... You every every at the start of a turn you attack every single time, right? So you're attacking pretty much every single time. Rerolls all unused dice. Uh I mean I'll grab this. Where do I want it? I don't want to take away attacks. Um I don't want I don't want to take away rerolls. I mean if I put it on if I put it on here, I mean I guess I could put it on here, and then I like if I don't like my rotation direction, or I don't like my attack if I don't want reckless and I want one of these, I can re-roll the I mean re-roll these is not terrible. It's fine, I guess. I was wondering if I wanted to like put it on the, these here, these here, reroll this die. That'll be fine. I'm gonna overwrite those later. They're all right. I mean, rerolling reckless attack is nothing. There's no reason to not reroll a reckless attack. Bonfire. Do I want to sell equipment? Do I want to get stat buffs? That's the question. What to do? Don't think I need to heal. Hmm. Slightly increase. I mean, this could give more. There's a chance this gives attack on this guy, or a chance it just gives a couple hit points. So a pouch. He's already got... I mean, I could give this guy another pouch. It's not a terrible choice. I could get pouches elsewhere. Let's hope for strength. Nice. Plus some strength. Everybody's massive. That's good. That's good. That's good. And we check our options. Dice with... We've got 40 gold. Done well here. It's going nicely. 40 gold. Hmm. Support action. Target any... This is a die face to add to one of my dies. Target... To overwrite something. Target any chimera on the ally side. It attacks the enemy leader. That's, that's basically like a, an extra attack on that one die, so it's not bad. Um, target ally gains plus two strength for the battle. That's decent too, although I feel like you'd have to get four attacks off of it instead of this. I mean, if you apply strength of one onto this guy early in the fight, he'll, he'll do four attacks, most likely. Although, just roll this one time and use it for him is also eight, right? Ooh, mirror. Mirror's also good. You roll a mirror and just repeat the attack. That's also good. Hmm. I feel like this is better because you can choose who attack, I suppose, who is the leader, but this gives you two slots with it rather than one. Oh, well, we got some good choices here. The whole team gains guard. That's not a terrible, terrible token. Team gains amount of gold equal to its leader's strength. Hold up. Hold up. That costs six gold. You use it when this guy's in the front. I gain eight gold. That's just a that's a net gain of two gold. If I have the gold to spare to do to buy that, I will. Depends what I have available. Let's go over to the shop. Choose. What do we have here? Equipment's also really nice. 
by my fire more equipment. I can only, ha only have so many slots attacked. Small chance of healing by double the amount. I mean, it's alright. Cactus Cake. Unspawn gains an amount of thorn equal to its own strength. Giving eight thorns, eight counterattack damage on Lycanus is really good. Passive plus 60 max hit points. Attacked. self flicks frozen. Frozen. Attack against an affected come here. Deals double damage. So it gets more hit points, but the downside is if it gets attacked more than once, it's taking extra damage, which is not great. Uh, full heals. Uh, flick bleed. I mean, eight bleed is real. That's really good, too. I kind of like this, though. That's, 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 I should have gone for the pouch on this guy. That's really good. So, on spawn, he gets th eight thorns. Or give to you, have seven thorns. And depends who's taking damage, really, right? I mean, he's going to hit, he'll get hit sometimes. And, do I want another one? I only have so many equipment slots. I kind of want that token. Or a die face would be good. Give me a nice strong die face. Maybe. Can't afford that. I mean, I can 16, 20, I can get both of these. Be alright. Or repeat. This fills up two slots. I only have one idle slot, actually, though. Hmm, let's get this one. Give her that idle slot. Confirm that. Buy this. One of those guys in the lead just use it. What was this one? I don't need that one. That's for healing. Alright, use our gold very efficiently. And we'll get a uh, net gain of two gold. By, uh, when we uh, get this guy in the lead, right? It'll be great. You, Strizzly. It's always the same boss first area. I like to see some variety. Give me like two or three to choose from. Maybe in time, as the game gets worked on more. Confusion stacks, that's right, because he's got the confusion thing now. Love that. So every time this guy attacks, he takes damage. Not that I want him to attack very much. And look at the look at the animations. This game's great. Reroll all. Oh, he rerolls everything. All in use dice. Well, I mean, if I don't like either of them. So, boss swap. So I can either put it in the lead or I can make an idle. Energy shock. I don't want you to energy shock, so I probably want to rotate. Having the boss in the lead, I want to. I probably want to hit you with an attack of seven. I mean, I don't. Do I want to? I could get a different. Uh, I might reroll like a random rotation. I mean, wait. This guy gets focus when they go in the lead. Get this guy. Uh, get this guy to go in the lead. They gain focus. I remember this guy's got abilities. Just all focused on this guy, and then we do double damage on this guy. Is great because he's the biggest threat on the board. We're incapacitated, and so I can either have this guy idle, rotate you forward, have you attack, or I can rotate. Hmm. Basically, who do I want to attack? If this guy attacks me, it's only three damage. If he doesn't, if he rotates, it's not that big of a deal. I could reroll that incapacitate. It doesn't matter though. We. Oh, he rerolls theirs. Oh, what have I done? I didn't know I rerolled theirs. Oh. Oh man, I should have. Now he's actually gonna. Now he actually. Now he can actually attack me. That's rough. Wait. I can use it to my advantage. Enemy range attack on this guy. Haha. Uh -huh. Taste my thorns, nerd. Eight extra damage from the thorns is great. I got bleed, so I want to rotate for a little bit. Good to know. Um, hope for rotation. Nice. And you attack. I guess we'll rotate a little bit here, but oh well. To the front you go. This guy's getting hurt. I can use a heal token on them if need be. And turn. That rolls all dice, including theirs. Big eight damage on them. I want this guy at the front to take the damage as much as possible. Random, they meet, they'll either attack my guy in the lead, which I don't want because his hit point's not great, or they'll rotate, need to hope for the rotation. I can rotate him, then he's in the lead again. I can do this, it's just kind of random. I could reroll the dice, but it could be worse. Hmm, rotate left. We rotate left to get this guy in the lead. Take the bleed damage, unfortunately. Gain the focus, got more hit points in the front. I rotate to the right because I actually want to hit you, I think. Rotate to the right because I actually want to hit you. And we attack you for 12. And then what we do is we re-roll the dice and hope for more clear things. Because this could easily be him attacks, him attacks, which we don't want because he hits for hard and applies these ugly stacks of bleed, which are unpleasant. We got a range attack and a regular attack, so none of these are great for me. So we attack over here. Painful, confusion damage on you, bleed sacks on me. Um, this guy, he's got the counterattack thing, but uh, he's he's too low on hit points. So we gotta spread the pain around. I gotta, remember, I got heal. Also, when this guy's in the front, I need to remember to use my gold coin. Uh, we end our turn here. Also, you being ending with him in the front is good because that's just extra eight damage on him, right? And more confusion sacks, so that's pretty good. He's getting kind of low. Um, I could bulk up and get even more value from that. Rotate to the front here. Gives this guy... I could be attacking for 10. 
boss swap. That's a good one for us. Random rotation. This is not so bad. We... Hmm. Hmm. If I rotate to the front... Oh. Uh, I can ro We rotate to the front here. I didn't need to rotate to get to the front for the thing, but... Well, we, we bulk you up. We give this to gain the uh, 10 gold. So it's net gain of 4 over there. That's great. And I can have you... He's ranged. I didn't need to rotate in the front, but for that I did. Go down that different turn, though. I can hit for 10 on, I think, you is who I want to hit. Do I want... Do I want this guy to hit me for 4 damage because I counterattack with 10 damage? I I, I kind of I kind of do. No, no, or is it still eight for the spawns? Oh, it's six for it's still six extra damage. We need to beat this guy. Um, yeah, get that counterattack damage. Why did it not counterattack? Because it's a shock, and shock doesn't count for counterattack, but it also does not count as bleed stacks, so that's actually okay for us. And we will range attack on you, right there. It gets more confusion stacks on you. We randomly rotate. This will swap the boss back to the front, which we want. So this guy will hit him for 8 damage at the start of next turn, because the buff only lasts for one turn. Good hit there. More confusion stacks, that's good. Get the, once the boss gets out of here and their annoying bleed stacks will be a lot easier. We can re-roll if we need to. It's random what the boss does, so they might attack, they might not. But I would like... Can I take the boss out before? Hmm. Do I re-roll? I mean, I've got a rotation to the left. You would do 12 damage. We have Nobody has bleed, I can rotate. You do 12 damage. Um, we do this, and that's not lethal, though, is the problem. And you, if I re-roll this, there's a chance you might just have a regular attack. But you also might have boss swap. This might just rotate. Hmm. I'm gonna hit you for 12 here, and just won't lament that I don't have exactly lethal. Point that thorns that hit him last turn. Enemy range attack. We... Anything, I think we gotta hope for rotation here. Good rotation. And enemy range attack. You hit for three, you rotate us. It's actually fine, because this guy likes getting rotated in and out. Enemy range attack for three damage on, I guess, this guy. This is a tough fight for us here. I do have tokens, but I'm trying to save them for, like, absolutely necessary times. And then, uh, we rotate you guys, and we don't need my token there. Alright, so... The, the, we won't take out the boss here yet, unfortunately. Hmm. Idle. Oh, great dice, great dice, great dice, great dice. I could do a random rotation. We don't want to reroll. Random rotation. Not the guy I wanted in front, but I can work with it. I can do a random rotation. Nobody has bleed. You, and both of you guys are stronger than this guy, effectively. And then. You can soften this guy up over here a little bit. Confusion stacks on them. And we have to use their idol, but, you know, let's use these idols. They're idols, right? Good fight so far. Take you out there with that start turn attack. You buff them, but I can just attack you first. Yeah, range attack to get rid of uh, you, like so. That's good. Oh, that's, I forgot, you only have to beat the boss to win. I keep forgetting that. Well, that's what we were shooting for anyways. A little bit of healing there. That's four. And six, and eight, yeah, that's good. Didn't go to the places I wanted, equipment choice, we got here. Horse figure, on spawn, if in the lead, gains five regen, if not, gains three. That's fantastic. Knight Scimitar, on spawn, if health is not full, plus four strength for the rest of the battle, that's gotta go on this guy. Thorns can go on somebody else. Uh, this can go over here. Thorns can go on you. It'll still be six, right? He didn't get, to, he didn't get hit that much anyways. And we give this, and he has he's attacking for 12 at the start of every turn. Although healing would be good too. Holy Mace, passive damage dealt when attacking a debuff target is 50% greater. I mean, this just makes my health 50% greater. Give us this. Thank you. This goes down here. And now you, you will have 12 damage. <laughs> and confusion stacks. Very, very good. He's very strong. The problem is my health is low. Oh, oh second area. Two or three. This might be a long video. All right. Oh, they get a full heal after the fight. Good to know. Good to know. What do they get? Reses too. What's this? Brew tree? Do I check that out first or later? Let's get my chimera, my chimera first. This is going to be a long video. It's going to be like an hour and a half of this, right? Okay. Take your turns faster, buddy. On spawn hits for seven. And it gets the thorns over there. On spawn sleep. Your full heal so you don't get to attack right away. 
Unspawn self makes sleep. An affected chimera cannot attack. It must be attacked in order to wake up. So... Oh, they can't... They cannot attack. But it says clash attack. R riddle that for me. Strength in one? A target ally gains plus your strength for the rest of the battle. Let's give that to... Well, first of all... Let's, let's, I mean, give this to you. I need to rotate and hopefully you get put in the front. I knew it wasn't giving me that one I wanted. Alright. What happens if I clash attack with you? He just misses. Good to know. Uh, idle, idle. Attack again here. It's fine. I mean, Dendoroth just seems like a crappy enemy, frankly. What do you do? Uh, attacked. Inflicts an amount of poison on the attacker equal to half of the attacker's strength. That's disgusting. Mama Drill. Attack. Once per turn, inflicts entangle on the opposing leader. Entangle. An affected Chimera misses its next rotation as the leader and must try to rotate once in order to end its condition. So, if this guy gets entangled, once he rotates the front, he then can't rotate back without having to use two, has to use two rotates, I guess, okay? And you, okay, poison stuff. Alright. Uh, you, oh, that's why he's got the sleep debuff, he hits for ten. Yikes. He's got ten attack, it's crazy. You only hit for one, but you do have poison. Mirror? Leader repeats the previous action use, except idle. Even if originated from an opponent or a token, which would be attack. Wait, I could rotate, and then you'll mirror the rotate. That's okay. Or mirror your own rotation. Definitely don't want you attacking. I could hit you for six first. I could rotate this guy. Do I want to hit you for six? I'd rather... Hmm. Let's just do a rotation here, because I don't want you in the front. You... I could have you attack for one. And I... This guy only has six attack. He also has uh, thorns. And then... You get three poison, that's not so bad. Like, that'll have to do. All right, why did you take five? Oh, the thorns. And you give me with three poison over there. I could mirror it again. How's poison work? At the end of turn, the affected chimera takes the amount of damage equal to poison value. I mean, I want... I want you to take that. I want you in the front. I could have shielded that, actually. The poison probably bypasses the shield. I mirror that again. No, I rotate, that way you mirror a rotation, right? Or I can attack you first. I mean, getting review feels important because the poison's a problem. If I attack you, it's more poison, right? It's a problem. How do I... I mean... What if I... Uh, guard first. No, we we rotate. Spread the pain around, I guess, if there's gonna be pain. Um, for science, I don't know if this blocks poison. Let's attack you, like so. Seven damage, incapacitated, still gets the poison. I guess we'll just mirror here and... Um, blocks. Oh, did it? The guard blocked the poison for me. Okay. Why do you have poison on you? You don't want to. You're incapacitated. So the guard did block the poison, I guess? One time it did it, one time it didn't. So when I attack them, I'm confused. No, it's when I damage them, I get poison. Yeah, it's when, it's when I damage them. I mean, I want to reroll because theirs seems pretty good. I want to take this guy out. Yeah, get this guy out of here. Stop that poison. Man, that guy's a nasty one. Oh, if you kill him, he doesn't poison you. Good to know. Um, random here. Attack, once per turn, inflicts entangle. He might entangle my guy here. I could rotate. I, give me the rotation. Give me a different rotation, please. Did that re- <gasps> Wait a second. No, I didn't use any dice. I was gonna say. Give me a rotation. Get this guy in the front, if you'd be so kind. Not this guy. Come on. I mean, focus here. We can give a clash attack, right? Like that. That's a big counterattack. It's good damage. Entangled, though. Gotta do it again. This is a rough first fight for us. Holy crap. Random rotation here. Uh, end our turn. This is... This is hard, man. The problem is I need to damage this guy. He's half my fight and I can't get him hurt because it just won't give me... Give me the right rotation! Alright, we have... I need to rotate here. The guy's about to die from poison. Not careful. Oh, it doesn't work because of the thing. This is... Might be the end of the run right here. Short video, huh? I just, I just needed, I needed to rotate this guy to the front. All right, well, I guess I might as well buff this, this guy, so we can actually uh, attack. Should've, I was hoping that, I just, I just never got the rotation to put this guy in the front, and I need him to be hurt. The full heal after the last fight just screwed me over. Attack you. Incapacitated. Uh, I need a, I need a rotation here. That's a good rotation. This guy's gonna get knocked out if this guy attacks. Oh, another rotation. Fantastic. Huge value, huge value, huge value. That, now there's help. Now there's help. And you, this guy, I can just attack. The, there's going to be a clash attack. We just have to rotate. 
attack you, like so. We don't want to re-roll. I mean, we'll just use the idols. I could re-roll and hope for not a... Well, Clash is good because I counterattack. We'll just rotate. Give me the... Put the right guy in the front, please! Alright, let's get this guy out of here and, uh... Rough, rough, rough fight for us here. Very challenging, okay. We heal a little bit, though. Thankfully. I mean, just wasting healing that guy, alright. Stop healing the guys at full health. That don't even want to be at full health. Hello? Come on. Alright. Pile of gold for our troubles. 13 gold, thank you. I can replace some of these lone hit points, actually. That occurs to me. Um, got that. Continue. Chimera Shrine. Might need to just grab this guy to replace him. He's hurt. We do like Levictus. We do like Levictus. Ally attack, if not in the lead. So we want this guy to not be in the lead, if at all possible. You... I mean, only attacks for two. So, but your whole thing... Here's the thing. He attacks for seven, but I'm not having him attack much. Hmm... You hit for... Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I... I don't know if this, if Glevictus, the thing about Glevictus is he's, he's healthy. I mean, I could use a heal here. I kind of want a different Chimera. Um, because this guy attacks for seven. Oh yeah, he attacks for two when my ally attacks, but still, it's only actually two per turn. This guy hit for seven, this guy hit for six is just better. Like, this guy hits for twelve when he goes in the lead. I don't think we want Glevictus with this current build here. I can use a heal token at some point if I need to. I could use Brood Berries to maybe heal up a little bit. Maybe this... Could be good as well. We might need to use these for safety here. Grants plus two max hit points. Probably to the guy that I know I'm going to keep. Right here. Yeah. Dice Smith. Maybe you could get some... I got a lot of money here. Get something good, maybe? Uh, get some target strength gain. Target strength gain. The rerolls are doing not a lot of good for us, frankly. What is this? Once used, it rerolls all unused allied dice. Does a one-time use thing? Or am I adding a die? For science, I might need to buy this because I think I might be adding a die. Once used, it re-rolls all unused ally dice. It does add a die! Okay! <laughs> I don't know, you could add dice? That changes things. That changes things. Okay. That's a game changer. Love that for us. What if I just started this guy in the lead? But this guy doesn't get his free attack for seven, but I need this guy to get hurt in the rotations. I mean, hard of the cards for the rotations. I need this. I don't know what you are, but give me something good, Brood Tree. Equipment. Okay, what is this? Fruit of Order. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Battle start inflicts entangle on every ally, including self, which makes it hard to rotate, which we don't love. Battle end plus two intelligence forever, which none of my guys currently benefit from. Edible. If the item holder is alive at the end of any battle, it will consume the item and benefit from its effect. So it's a one-time use. So you have one battle where you guys, the first rotation on each of them when their leader position doesn't rotate properly. And the reward is plus two intelligence, which none of these guys benefits from. Useless. Battle start strongly hurts 25% self. Actually, that would be good to get you hurt at the start of the battle. Battle end fully heals. Don't want that. Hmm... If you could survive that, but you won't. Fruit of Chaos. Battle start inflicts frozen the whole team, which means they take double damage in their first hit each. Battle end, plus an equipment slot. I don't want any of these right now. Th I would want this if we weren't so hurt. Like, we could die from that. Cancel, come back to it later. Or just skip it. Uh, I, I mean... What do you want me to do? I can't be, in I can't be entangled. I can't take double damage when we're almost dead. I mean, I guess we could, and just let them get KO'd. Fine, Fruit of Chaos, and take this out, put this in, and give this guy a third equipment slot, because he's kind of like the carry right now. And I guess we're just going to start, start with him in the lead, which makes this guy's ability useless. Actually, uh, give him the crown for now, just for one turn. And we will work our way over here and see what we can do. A bit rough here. I do have some heals, but taking double damage here is... Oh, they all have like four... I need somebody that only have one attack. The Frozen's are gonna be a problem. I guess this guy's... This guy's a one-shot anyways. This guy's a one-shot anyways. So you'll go down to one-shot because of that. It's not good. You'll take extra damage here. It's not great. I did have an extra die, though. Reckless Attack. Joker. So we... I mean, if I don't like my dice, I can re-roll. Attack. Once per turn... So we don't want you attacking, so you inflict poison. We want this guy attacking. So he rotates in the front, do a clash attack on this guy. Yeah. 
we free rotate. Boggle into the front. We don't want you attacking. Maybe we could attack that guy first. Hey, I don't want to be attacking the Boggle, do I? Alright, well, I may have got a range attack, so it's fine. We strengthen one on you. And then we um, have you take the attack here. Like so. It takes eight. Oh man, the frozen might have been a huge mistake. What does that even do for us? Um, equipment slot. It's a big gamble. Range attack on this guy. Ten. Didn't like that, did ya? Just leave this guy asleep as long as I can. A reckless attack, extra damage on you. I actually don't want to hurt you, but I can't rotate them. Um, I guess I'll do the reckless attack. There we go. Incapacitated, whatever. And it rerolls that. I don't care to rotate right now. End turn. Turn start. Takes that guy out. It's not necessarily a good thing. That guy was good for, like, taking hits. Ah, uh, I don't want... Target Chimera against Taunt. I mean... I could force this guy to take the hit because he's going down anyways. And he has five. I mean, this guy... Somebody's getting KO'd here. I th I'm pretty sure. Somebody's getting KO'd. Strengthen one on you. But, like, the longer I delay that KO, possibly the better. Clash attack... Mmm, I could do the clash attack on this guy, that way he takes it. There's- I could rotate him, and then rotate these guys again, just to not mirror an attack for them. And to make- I don't want to wake this guy up, right? I mean, does it matter? Wait till this guy's got stronger and have, like, a double attack before I fight, wake them up? Yeah. So we free rotation these guys, then we mirror that, there we go, and then you clash if I taunt, then we can make sure you, uh, inflict your poison on... I mean, do we really, I mean, I, I could replace somebody at the next thing, right? This guy's... In the thorns? I don't know. I could, or I could just not use that. Take the hit from this guy, he takes... Uh, are you still frozen? Is it... Oh, you're still frozen, it stays the entire battle. Frozen doesn't go after a hit, that's good to know. Alright, we will... Is this a random? Target, come here. Wait, no, I don't want to reroll. I don't want to reroll. I want to attack with this first for 12, I think. Because that's a good one. And then... I mean, do I want to take you out right now? Better hit your four in the poison than get this guy hitting us, right? Taunt this guy. And... Do I care about rotating? No. You clash attack. Take you out. There we go. Now it's just you and us. Oh, that's a good hit, though. That's a good hit. You're awake now. Hmm... I could re-roll that to hopefully not... I mean... Just use that. Use that. I could re-roll... When I use this, is No, it's only re-rolls mine, not theirs. I could re-roll all... And have there be a chance that not being a clash attack could be good. First of all, we attack you for 12. And then we... I don't really care about taunts. I'm gonna re-roll all. And hope... Hope for something better. Click the right spot. Hmm... Not really what I wanted. Rot I could rotate or rotate or clash attack and take you out. Seven hit points, I could clash attack and have this guy get KO'd. Wait, don't you... Am I no longer frozen? Oh no, there's a clear... Oh, I'm so stupid, there's a clear visual icon. So it does go after one hit. We survive this. Take you out. This guy should heal up a little bit this... No wait, the guy that heals me is KO'd, so no healing, that's a problem. No, no, he had the sacred beads on. Alright, come on, give me a bunch. There's four... Uh, six, eight, uh, oh yeah, good, 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 lots of heals. And then we consume the, the thing there, this guy's KO'd. Lightly heals the whole team. Does that work on KO'd Boyo? No. But we're not bad, I should have used the heal token, I'm dumb. I, I mean, I just replaced this guy, I should have KO'd you maybe. Mmm, give you the crown back. And we continue. And now that means you have a third equipment slot, so... I guess thorns for you, chaos for you. I need to resurrect you. Maybe this guy resurrects? Traveler? Or I replace that guy? I mean, I like this guy, but he's not the head, like... He's good, but... I feel like I'd rather replace you. Um, hmm. Gain healing equipment, gain damage dealing equipment. I feel like damage dealing equipment for this guy would be better. I mean, your health's not that low anymore. I should just, I should just use the healing token on you. Um, yeah, give me that. Damage dealing equipment. Appreciate that. Just uh, did I spend money on that? How much did that cost? I was paying attention. What we got? Attacked. Deals damage equal to attacker strength to the attacker. To the attacker strength. So it's not based on his attack, it's based on their attack. So, whoever's getting attacked a lot should wear that, right? 
So whoever's wearing thorns should wear that. This over here. I guess that can go there if, if and when I wake you up. Yeah. So when you get attacked, you will do their damage back to them. And basically, I want to pair that with thorns. So there's just this guy's like a real counterattacky kind of guy. Hmm. Shop. I need it. Another fight before that. Um. I need a resurrect token. Grants the owl leader an amount of thorn. Target Kaled. Um. What if I can sell these? Can I click you? No. Just discard. Oh yeah. Target Kaled Chimera revives it and heals half of their max hit points. I think we need that. Although, look at this. Passive plus two strength and plus two intelligence. Ooh, that's good though. That's better than the thorns. I don't know. I can come back for it. I need to revive. I need to revive my boyo. And we can revive them right away. Now we can handle the fights. Let's unlock uh, this thing over here, right? Need that. I need goodies. Man, this game takes a while to go. I guess it's lots of thinking. Lots of thinking. Hello, Algeal. What you got for me? That's a lot of damage right out the gates. Love that. Plus 12 thorns is disgusting. You and Tangles who can't rotate. Um, I need to just revive. Uh, use that on you. Get you back in this. That's better. Hmm. Rotate random direction and read. Roll. Bulk up. I'll probably bulk up. Not this guy. What do you do? Once per turn inflicts incapacity in the attacker. So this guy can't attack back. Alright. Why am I incapacitated? Oh, when you're attacked. Gotcha. Well, this guy didn't get incapacitated. Maybe maybe they're... Does this guy's ability not account as... If health's not full attacks opposing leader, shouldn't he be incapacitated too? No, once per turn, because this guy attacked first. Gotcha. Once per turn. Hmm, don't want to clash here. Um, use the idle. In case we use this. I could do a random rotation. Do we want it? I mean, this guy's already done their nasty effect. He hits for five, though. This guy hits for three. Or I get hit by three. I could rotate. This guy's got thorns. Takes five damage, but he hits for what, 12. Counterattack is insane. Um, this guy can't attack anyways. Rotate. Well, this guy would be good for a two. Bulk up. Mm, 14 damage. I mean, I could do it on this guy. Who do I want to attack? Three damage and entangle? Maybe do the three damage and entangle be better. Rotate here. And uh, clash attack. Big damage. There we go. Look at that value. Oh, he's just gone in one hit. That's super strong. Reckless attack on you. And incapacitated, but we end turn. And we can still turn start. Yeah, there we go. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. We're back in this. We're back in it, boys. A little healing for the fellas. Doing great. Give me that three gold. And we continue. We ride. Give me this. Might be time to replace our... I mean, his seven damage to the star is nice, but aside from that, he usually isn't in the front doing much. Escabal. 30 health is nice. Compares nice. Compares nicely with, like, uh, this, you know, build here if I give you some more. Enemy rotation. If in the lead, attacks the opposing leader. So this guy benefits from being in the lead. He starts the two equipment slots. You start two equipment slots because we're in the second area. Hmm. I mean, 30, just for, 30 health. If he's in the lead and the enemies rotate, he gets a bonus attack. Uh, but he, is he going to be in the lead a lot? He might be. I mean, it might be time to replace this guy. I mean, I like that seven attack at the start, but your attack is only two more net. This guy's got 15 more health. I mean, he'll be in the lead sometimes. I think overall he'll get more value. Recruit, replace, and you being in the lead, like this guy, this guy likes being in the lead. This guy, now that he no longer has the counterattack stuff, no longer wants to be in the lead. And you can go back to inflicting confusion sacks, and you can go back to being my healer. And I think we got ourselves a uh, root and tootin' cook and build over here. Hmm, do I increase my guy's stats? I might need that to heal. I can work down for this. Give myself some options, okay. I wasn't expecting this game to take me an hour and have to make a video, but well, here we are. I guess we're vibing. Mmm, that's a big hit right at the start. Confusion stacks. Attacked. Grants one gold to the attacker's team. Ooh, I, oh, I like this guy. Every time you attack him, he gets his gold. Shame I hit him for so much. I've got two of these guys. This is my first time seeing two in the same in one fight? I don't think so. KO'd deals damage equal to its strength 
to its allies. Okay, so take out this one first. Yeah, so will do 12. Yeah, it's whatever you can get one go. I mean, somebody's gonna attack. I have no guard here. Not, I wanna get some guards. I can re-roll here. I can take you out and get some gold. Hmm. If you attack, you'll KO yourself. I don't get that. It's, it's, it's one gold. I um, mean, use the idols. Man, these guys hit for so much. They hit for so much damage. I don't have a rotation on them, so it's gonna be either, either I take this guy out, and then somebody hits me for, you know, 10 or 12, or... Um... This guy's going down either way. Let's see, I, I guess hit, get hit for 6, I suppose, but the, I got the counterattack on this guy. I, got, I mean, the counterattack, I'd be counterattacking for more over here, but it points low. I think we attack this guy to get him out of the way. And, um... Enemy rotation, that's right, the rotation. You you benefit from rotation. And you attack like so. And big value there, the big hits. Reroll all. Uh, this can sometimes be an attack one. Let's reroll all over here. The taunt. Want that. Um, only last for that one turn. No. Uh, do I want to rotate here? If I rotate this guy, the front... I mean, no, end turn, because if they rotate, then this guy just... Oh! Nice hit right there. KO does 10 to this guy, okay. Enemy rotation hurts them. That's nice, that's nice. Well, I can't rotate them, though, is a problem. I mean, I can just put a guard on here. I mean, I could rotate this guy the lead. Well, guard this guy. See if, see if he still gets, the, like, the counterattack stuff from the guard? Looks like it. Nice value. Okay. It's getting pretty good here. Victory. Sacred beads for the heels and the boys. Love that for us. We keep on cooking. Mmm, give me this, this. 13 gold. Revives and are instantly heals. Oh, I could have saved myself that token. Um, Lightly heals you. You're a little bit low. Lightly heals the whole team? Sure. Okay. You guys are not quite at full. That's good. 51 gold in a dream. I mean, if I'm this healthy, let's go get some more stats or maybe equipment. Let's do the fights first before I decide on that, based on, you know, if I feel like I need another equipment slot on somebody. They are good to get, the pouches. Thorns. Ah, man, I love that. It's so good. It's so good. Plus four strength. I wish he... Yeah. Hmm. I wish it, tr it would trigger the plus four strength before he attacks, so I could get 12 right off the bat, but... Asking a bit much. You apply Entangle. This guy likes being in the lead. This guy likes being in the lead, so... First of all, use that. Also, this guy applies poison. We don't love that. Can I shield this guy? Random rotation. Strengthen one so you do more? Mmm. Yeah. Actually, they're not going to rotate, are they? Well, let's do a clash attack here. Big hits on them. Huge value. Oh my goodness. Get body, get dusted, get destroyed. I could take you out and then clash attack this guy and get some poison. I mean, yeah, it's more value, actually. And he'll rotate as well. We'll get a little bit of poison on us, but... It'll be okay, because this guy's whole thing is he's got a lot of hit points. Look at the expression that thing makes. Good damage on there. End our turn. I don't even want to rotate this guy. He wants to be in the front. 12 from that guy is great value. This guy's starting to take over the show. Um, Let's take you out of here. This guy's starting to become the, the king. Maybe give him the extra thing that gives him more attack. Because... I mean, this guy attacks once per turn. Sometimes these guys rotate twice per turn. You rotate them, or they attack, or... Maybe this guy needs to have the extra attack. Well, he heals the whole team. Great. Um... But then again... Hold on. Attacked deals damage equal to attacker strength to the attacker. So... So this gives him... Equal to his own strength. I mean... It's... it's I need to give him that third equipment slot and give him that... Because he'd have four plus, plus four strength. That means every time he gets attacked, he does an extra four damage. And then he'd have... Well, actually, the thorns might activate before this does. So I'm not sure if that combines, but... Giving him another equipment slot, moving that to him could be good, actually. Step aside, Lycanus. A new hero has arrived. Debris. What's debris? Debris. Passive. Slightly increases one or multiple random stats. What if I give it to this guy? What if, oh, oh, it's, oh it's, it's something you equip. Start a battle? Plus two strength. Does it change? 
No, it's just it's just plus two strength. Okay, that's great. He starts at ten. His first attack will do more. Still want to give this over to you. I need more equipment slots. So I know what I need from the bonfire and some more equipment slots. That's what I need for sure. So sew a pouch. Choose this. I mean, either one of you would be good. Let's put it on you. And let's hold on, let's give you this. Rotate them around. Because this guy gets plus four, you know. Oh, his pl he attacks once a turn for plus four. This guy might get multiple times per turn on the rotations. And if we're lucky, this triggers before the thorns activates, right? And it'll definitely it'll definitely pair with this. It might pair with that. Should be good. Hmm, shop. We got so much money. Tent. Uh, check the tent. See what we got. See what we got here. Oh, 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 now you give it to me. Honestly, give it to this guy. This guy's a champion. Give it confusion. That's only the attacks. Give him the debris. So he has seven. Make sure, try to have it trigger before the thorns, if possible. I mean, if it goes left to right, I don't even know how it works. Um, check you first. I'm feeling very strong all of a sudden. We went from like struggling this run to like now we're like cracked with it. I see you guys here. Plus seven thorns. So it, it goes. Hmm. Oh, he needs to be hurt for it to trigger, so we don't have the the data on that yet. Uh, we can have you attack for a measly one, and you'll get bodied by my guy. Um, or I just just take you out, because I get gold for attacking you, right? And I've oh, got three gold for that. Oh, okay. I'd rather you not uh, get killed by the counterattack damage. Let's actually rotate this. You can attack this guy for one. It's, I want you to live for another turn, really. Um, if we're lucky, we rotate back where we want to be. Great. And now you're hurt, so if you go back to the front, you get the focus bonus. I need you to get hurt, too. Because you only attack when you're hurt, right? Been healed up too much. What's this? Trip. The leader lightly hurts itself. That's actually really good. I can rotate to the front, hurt this guy. Um, that he starts attacking. Could be, could be useful for all the future battles. Strengthen this guy, though, right? For dealing with this. This guy has 80 health. He attacks for 10. That's gonna be a problem. What if I make this fight go as long as... What if I don't attack? Um, rotate to the front. Instead of me hurting myself, let him do it. I mean, the longer we take on this, the better. Because this guy has 80 hit points and hits for 10. Never mind, I forgot I activated his ability. Whoopsie doopsies. Uh, strengthen one, this guy. We need to hopefully rotate you back to the front. Nice. And... Will this guy... It's Clash Attack. He's asleep. It won't work, will it? Yeah, that's great. I, I did attack him back and woke him up, but... Hit you with a reckless attack here. Here we go. Capacitated. And turn. Soften up a little bit before we got to go. Let me attack a bit again there. Plus two confusion. Reckless attack. I can hit you with a regular attack here. Let's go. Use this idle die. Hit you with a reckless attack here. Incapacitated. I should have... Oh, wait. I should have done the clash before that. I'm gonna reroll and hopefully he gets an idol or something. That's nah, regular attack. Well, it doesn't matter. I, mean, still get, I still get the counterattack damage from the stuff, right? Yeah. Why only six? Oh, there we go. 16 counterattack damage is huge. I mean, if we walk away only taking 10 damage from that guy, that's really, really good, actually. Yeah. That's actually fantastic for us. We only took 10 damage from that guy who has 80 health. Very good. That was an elite fight. I forgot about that. That's wild stuff. Heal. Just heal this guy only. Don't heal yourself. Sorry, you got healed. We don't want these. We don't want these guys getting healed. This sacred bead sometimes is doing more harm than good. I don't want those guys healing. They're that full. Sentient arrow on spawn attacks the most vulnerable opponent once. That's great. So now, uh, that's like we have our one guy back that attacked at the start for free, and this guy still hurts, so he'll actually attack twice. Mirrors could be good. What do I put the mirror on? Mirror is you repeat the previous action. Well, I almost never want the taunt. I don't love random rotations. Especially random rotations that re-roll all my stuff and I don't necessarily want them. I feel like I'd rather... I mean, the taunt... In the situation, the taunt could help us. This, on the other hand, I think I'd rather have these. Confirm. And we continue. Doing great. Second of three years. Dice Smith. Dice Smith for the boys. What we got here? Incapacitated could be good. Could save our lives. 
Rerolls all unused dice. Ah, I mean, the strength in one is not bad. What would I want to replace, though? Can I... Um... Hmm, I don't think I can replace that. Leader tax and capacitated. I could get rid of the taunt. Strength in one instead of the taunt. Could be okay. I just get rid of these. The reroll all. I'm barely using those. I mean, sometimes it's going handy, I guess. Check my other options, the other shop. That's a, it's a small die that only lasts for one battle. Honestly, having one of these on the standby to use against, like, a boss? If I have surplus money, could be good. Depends on the money situation. If I'm burdened money, save that for a tough boss fight. There's only two boss fights left, I think. Um, grants to Alley, leader, an amount of thorn equal to its own strength. I mean, that is, I can make this guy even more deadly against a tough fight. That could be good. Another die could be good. Probably I can't see what those faces do. It doesn't look like, tell me. I guess I can click it. Nope, just buys it. Crap. Thought I'd click it. Let me hover over and see what it is. Alright, well, we'll find out. Mmm, passive, plus two strength, plus two int. I mean, getting plus two strength is good. Plus four hit points, plus one strength. I think I'd rather have the, the two strength. Plus the hit points, attack once per battle, self inflict one damage. I think I, I, I do want this. Put that on you. Or I could put it on you. No, you need the thorn thing. Mmm, yeah. Your health is not full, so that triggers. Good. We... We leave it. Do I care about these? I don't think I do. We go back. Back and forth. Back and forth. To the things we want, to the things we need. We have over here. We've got enough to either get another die. Those are rotates and like... sets. I'm not sure what that one does. Let's get... Uh, let's get this one here. Replace one of these here. More buffs for our boys instead of like rotations we don't necessarily want to use. We're broke. We use our money decently. Not sure buying that die was good. Depends on... Depends on what the die does. Alright, boss of the second area. Gargle it. Get it? I see. Gargle it. I see. I like that. Eleven thorn. It did work. The order did work. Okay, that's good. Two attacks. Huge value. Turn start applied poison. Turn start inflicts one poison on a random opponent. So the start of every turn, it, it puts a poison, which is only one damage. Now the question is, does poison last the entire fight, or does it de decay after one turn? It must last the entire fight, otherwise that wouldn't be that big of a deal. Or, I mean, he's got seven attack or 60 hit points. It's a lot. If I beat if I beat this guy first, all I have to do is beat this guy and the fight ends. Attack once per turn and, and tangle. We don't want these guys attacking. We want this... Oh, he hits for seven, though, but, I mean, him hitting for seven is better than this guy hitting for five and applying three poison, so you attacking is better than that guy, oddly enough. And you... What is this? Look in a second. You attacking for four and applying entangle. It's not so bad if I want this guy in the front. You need to get hurt a little bit. I have nothing to mirror yet. Random, random. Uh, boss gains plus one int forever. Oh, I see. He will buff his poison. He's gonna he's gonna self buff the poison he does. All right. Well, who do we strengthen? The guy who, uh, the guy who hits for this guy, right? Because yeah, yeah. this guy's taking over the show. Strengthen one on this guy. Do I mirror that and get an extra plus two on this guy? I think I do. I think I do. Because this, because the thorns valiance. Oh, it rerolled. I forgot. But it rerolled into a reckless attack. That's okay. It only rerolls mine as well. Uh, I don't want to rotate you. I mean, might as well get the value on you, right? Fifteen damage on you. I mean, we could wait for the attacks. It's gonna be a clash attack. So we can, I guess you're gonna charge. Random he attacks. Yeah, I could have. I mean, this is a clash. Good counter attack. That's so much damage, though. Rotate. No, attacking again. That's not great. Taking a lot of damage here, but you got hurt a lot. I do have a heal token. We'll we'll see if I actually need to use it this fight or not. We do get a full heal for he for free, right? All right, one damage there. Turn starts. I've only got ten thorns. All right, so as my strength goes up, my thorns aren't going up with it, which makes sense. Clash attack. I would survive it, and the counter attack would be good. I can strengthen my guy first here. So it occurs to me. The strengthening you guys, it's not improving your thorns, but it does improve the spiky buckler, so it is still worth it, yeah. As long as you have the strength to, like, take the hits. We are going to... do a ranged attack... on you. And then we are going to, I think... Oh, it's a heal all token. Oh, the, uh, it's the entire team, which means I need other people to take some hits, I think. You can hit this guy. Nice damage there. 
You attack back as so a clash attack. And random. Hmm. I mean, if you get KO'd, it's not great for us. Can we get a rotation here? Rotate. Good, 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 good. And then you can just go ahead and attack over here, like so. Oh, I get poison for hitting them. How much poison did you hit me with? No, it's, I'm incapacitated. It's when you attack. End turn. Okay, that guy's finally hurt, so they can get some value. Turn start, get some work on them, I guess. Although, gotta be focusing on that guy. Poison over there, not the guy I want you to poison. I could taunt somebody, could be good. We... It's random. Rotate you guys, I think, to who I actually want to be attacking over here. And you could attack for 10. I want this guy back in the front, but unfortunately... I mean, I could use this and re-roll the rotate if I'm lucky. Yeah. Strengthen... You. And then... Taunt... The guy with 15 health. And re-roll, hopefully get the rotation direction we want. Uh, no. Was it the same one? Or did I have the one I want? I don't remember. I mean, you do get a bonus for going... You'll hit for 12 with your focus. And you're a better guy to get hit, damage-wise, right? Enter lead, get focus. You attack for 12, good hit. Random. You hit for 7. Attack for 4. If you attack for 7, I still survive that. You have poison, though. I'm gonna need to use this heal all token. If, actually, if they get KO'd, I just need to win the fight. Okay, you don't attack, that's fine. And turn. You know, save that heal all token. Don't use it if I don't need it. Also, if something gets KO'd, there's a chance I get recovered in between areas. For all I know. It's not a poison over there. Well, get your little power thing up. It's whatever. I don't mind that. Use the idle. I could re-roll that. I mean, you're not- you guys aren't attacking this turn. That's actually kind of fine for me. Random rotation. Maybe get the gargoyle in the front. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. You... I want to randomly rotate. I could re-roll and hope for... Uh, I mean, do a random rotation. Just hope to get lucky. I mean, 10's not bad. Um, I don't want having two- I don't like having two incapacitates. I can only use one. If I use this, it re-rolls this, it might give me another, a different one, but I'm still being capacitated. Reroll all, hope for the best. Nah, it doesn't work, the mirror does you can't mirror an incapacitate, unfortunately. Uh, I've got some more confusion on you. Mirror just stands still, unfortunately, incapacitated. End turn here, we take more poison damage. The poison does seem to, like, de deter over time. The thing about you is you buff your own intelligence, you do more poison the longer the fight goes. 14 damage is all I need to do to beat you. If I could just rotate the right direction. I mean, I can just do a ranged attack with... What's this? Retreat? If the boss is in the lead, its team rotates. Otherwise, it idles. Oh, gosh. It's not actually like leaving the fight. Well, I can just range attack you. All I gotta do is beat the boss to win. And, uh... Like well, can't here. Gonna get the job done. There we go. There we go. Love that for us. Swamp Scourge defeat Gargolet. Steven Schmidt uh, accomplished. Heal a little bit. Completely unnecessary. We're gonna like, get a full heal after this area. There's one more. This game I thought would take one hour to do a run. It's taking me like it's gonna take me like an hour and a half, hour and forty. Oops, good to know. Dice folk daggers exit lead inflicts three damage on a random opponent three times. Okay, um I mean it's a choice. Three damage on a random opponent three times. So it's if I rotate a lot, whoever has it will do nine damage. That's alright. Turn start. If not in the lead, small chance of increasing ally leader's strength by 50% for the rest of the turn. 3%. So it has a 30... So, uh, so like, a guy like here who's often not in the lead has a 1 in 3 chance of increasing this guy's damage from 10 to, like, 15. That's not bad. On spawn, gains 10 gold. Turn end, loses 1 gold. We're kind of okay in the money front. I mean... I mean... I don't have the equipment slots for any of these, frankly, and I kind of like what I have already. Who ex- I mean, they were both lead-related. I don't- I don't know. Inflicts three damage to a random opponent three times. That's nine damage, but like, once every- every other turn. This right here, um, is by 50%. If this- if this guy's up to like eight, like, you know, 15 damage, that gives him an extra seven damage. I think this might, on average, do more. You choose that. Um, I'm not sure what does more confusion? Or this exit lead. I, mean, I don't know that I want it at all. I mean, it's all right. All right, full heal. There we go. Next area. Shrine right away. Nice. What you got for me? We have a comma. Three equipment slots. It's better than your one. Um, attack, attack the same target again once. So he attacks for 10. 
This guy has to be hurt to do, to do 12. I think I'm just going to take him. I'm just going to take him. He's got 12 more hit points. Three I'm mostly taking him because he has three equipment slots. And he'll attack... I mean, he attacks twice. Well, once per turn, but... I mean, that's... I mean, if I give... If I buff him with all these damage increasing things... Like, he does... He's got five right there. Um... You know, where's else? Plus four. We'll give him nine. This gives him eleven. This gives him thirteen. And when he attacks, he will attack for twenty-six damage when he attacks. And then the, if they clash him, he'll be thirteen, right? But the problem is that makes this guy's shield a lot less strong. Now, I mean, him hitting for twenty. I mean, twenty-six damage plus this guy hitting for eight if he's hurt is thirty-four. But if we keep it the way it was, like the the thorn is on spawn. Like having this, this, I mean, the thorn value. The thorns were doing like way more. I feel than that. We just need more things to buff strength, frankly. Um, but focus on this guy. I think. Yeah. Uh, attacks most vulnerable opponent once. Confusion. Yeah, I guess that's fine. I'll do. Gold, just take it. Sure, love that. Um, let's just start checking things out. Battle starts. Hello, Sfindel and Geo and Armin Doro. Plus seven Thorn. Why do you only get plus seven? Because uh, he's not hurt. He needs to be hurt. I have a mirror there. Mm, what do we want here? What do you do? Um, if health is not full, gains focus. So, we want to save him for last when there's no more rotations. Exit lead. New leader gains guard. This looks like a tough fight. New leader gains guard. So we don't want to rotate these guys much. We can help it. Enter lead. They're all about lead. Enter lead attacks opposing leader. So I don't want this guy to enter lead. We rotate. Who? Has, yeah, we rotate here. All right. Enemy rotation does more damage. Should have, like... Looked at buffing you first or something. I don't want to mirror and incapacitate. I might want to re-roll all. Uh, who do we want to attack here? Mm, exit lead. New ah, guards at the end of the world. You getting extra attacks is a problem. What if we worked on... Okay, went to them at randomly. Okay. That was random. Uh, enemy range attack. Five. I mean, we got the spikes on this guy, so... But this guy, this guy needs to be hurt to do their thing. Attacking I me. Mean, see with this guy a little bit. Oh, the spawn. That's on spawn. We... I can re-roll all. Or... Yeah, re-roll all. Both of these... Inca double incapacitated is a problem. What if you use a reckless attack? I mean, we can rotate. Reckless attack. It's gonna go to that guy. And then it, that re-rolls into a rotate. This guy attacks twice. And there we go. Not bad. And turn. Interesting build here. Confusion stacks on you. Hmm, strength in one. This guy, that improves... So a strength in one improves a spike elite buckler. On here is a guaranteed actually two every time he's attacked. This time, two on this requires him getting attacked, which is not happening a lot right now. It might be about two, though. And if we rotate... Like so. Strength in you. So you do more damage while attacking. And your thing does better. I can just repeat that. Have it uh, buff that again. Reckless attack on you. Do I rotate? Clash attack. That might take you out or do a lot of damage. I don't know how much it's dealing there. A lot. Why the the buckler only did five? Hmm. Is buffing your attack not affecting your thing? I just don't notice. Feel like it was different before. Do I want to take you out? Yeah, I don't want you guys getting free, uh, guard all the time, right? There's you, enemy rotation. We're fatigued, so we missed. We take some damage. It's only doing six. Okay, maybe I'm misunderstanding it. I was not paying attention. I guess so. It's, it's only hitting six. All right. Well, if I rotate, idle, rotate, and enemy rotation. I'm, uh, having him be incapacitated was a problem there, unfortunately. I missed out some free damage there. All right, you... I need to keep you in the lead if all possible. I don't want you getting bonus. This guy will attack if I go in the lead. Well, I have to rotate. So this guy's going to attack. 
I want I want to get I need to take somebody out ASAP, so use the idol. Um I don't want to hurt my guys right now. I can buff you so you hit for more. Random rotation. Had clash attack with this guy because it's less damage and does more on him and try and get this guy out of there. Rotate, they'll attack for you. Should have buffed up first because we've we'll done more damage. You might be out of here anyways. Yeah, it's only hitting for six. Okay, so buffing my guy's strength in the battle with the buff up isn't really affecting. So if the if the spiky bucko is only hitting for six, that means the it's, the scimitar wasn't activated. But um that means I don't think the pass I don't think these things are affecting the buckler. So I'm misunderstanding something. Hmm. Let's bulk up you. Let's Oh. Do I want a clash attack? Not with this guy. So we will do this right here. Get you out of here. You get uh, you get focus in the lead here, which is gross. Hit you with an attack. I want to rotate here. I don't want you to eat another attack. You're not going to rotate to get this guy's thing to trigger, so... Let's do this. And turn. So this guy can actually survive a potential attack, right? Hmm... Rotation, doesn't matter. Random taunt. Got a guard, that's good luck there. And do a clash attack, we won't take the damage. That's great value. Attack twice, because my guy's thing. Range attack here. And there we go. Fight done. We survived. Alright, beautiful. I might not do daily videos in this game, because well, it takes a long time to make a video on this. It's time consuming. Sleep token. Inflict sleep in the opposing leader. Take that. I remember I have these. Continue. Same for the boss fight, I guess, huh? Mmm. I got a lot of money. What you got? Another dice. Confusion. It's a lot of confusion. Regular die, ready to be customized. Another die is huge. I need to save for that. Having more dice is amazing. Very, very good. Save up for that. Take another fight. I should have gone with here first. Whatever. Oh, hello, Morsipian. You guys are tough. Third area is challenging, huh? Nice hit right out the gate. Alright, now we get the 11. Now it's a question, will the buckler do more damage? We'll do 9 or whatever. Freeze one. Flicks froze on the opposing leader, which means they'll take extra damage. Um, I don't need to hurt anybody. That's a bad roll there. Flash attack would take you out. So buffing you is pointless because you're about to get one shot unless I heal. Okay, so... Wait, no effect? What happened to the whole applying frozen? Oh, that's just... Oh, you're, this down here is going to apply frozen the opposing leader. I can put frozen on this guy because I don't want him to take hits anyways because he'll just die, so... I don't mind putting a freeze on you. What do you do? Turn end, inflicts four burn on the opposing leader. Burn when attacked, and affected chimera takes in the amount of additional damage equal to burn value. If I could put the burn on you, if I could end the turn with this guy in the front, but I don't think I can. I mean... Hmm, I'd rather have this guy attack because he has less damage. But uh, I'd rather... I need, I need to rotate... I need to rotate... I mean, this guy's hit for 11 with his reckless attack. There's no counterattack. I mean, might as well have this guy hit for 11. There's no downside there. Then we rotate. Then we bulk up this guy. And then... Hmm... I'd rather have the weaker guy hit me for 8. Be better? Yeah. And turn. Uh oh. Well, once that goes away right away. There's only three here. We just don't want you to take any damage. Hmm. Use the idle. I could reroll everything. Don't want that. The range attack I could just use first. If I rotate. To the right. I, don't, I want this guy in the front. I could I could try to re-roll and get a rotate to get the uh, guy I actually want in the front. Hope for that. Hmm. I always have to use a heal token. Um, you only attack for eight. It's not that much. I feel like... Reroll all? I, I could use their rotate right because this might go into an attack or something. Use that. Not that I want the guy stronger in the front. Guess we got to re-roll all here and hope for... Good stuff. We got the thing we wanted. Rotate to the left. I can also have a mirror. It's very nice. And then we, uh... We attack like so. We get to attack again. Maybe buffing this guy's strength would have been good. I'm not sure. Who's going to benefit more from it? This guy or that guy? The problem is people do so much damage now, this guy can't tank too many hits. Maybe buffing this guy is better. And you have to take a hit here. This guy survived. He KOs himself right there like so. 
and turn will put burn on us, but we're surviving another fight here. Fights are getting challenging this last area. Big hit on you. Confusion stacks. Maybe buffing that guy would be good, I don't know. We, you, you have a guard. Why well, just don't do that right away, huh? Um, I could attack twice, but if I'm, does the first one incapacitate me and only attack once? I don't know. Do I reroll all? I don't want that. I don't want, I don't really care about rotating. I want a different attack than the Reckless. Um, use your free rotation. Um, reroll all. Nice, got an idol. Use that. And then we can attack and we can mirror it. It's more, I don't know if it's lethal on you, but it's still good. Attack you like so. Attacks again. Maybe do want to buff this guy. Mirror. One more attack, only for seven, because... Oh, it mirrored the... It's His ability is only supposed to trigger once per battle. But the mirror grabs both of them? That's really good. One away from lethal on you. Fortunately, you're going to hit me for... Uh, I'll take 11 damage. It's not great, but... I do have a heal all for 50% token. Flurry blows attack six server more times a single turn. Let's go. Cheap and locked. Brood pie. Battle end... If in the lead, heals five hit points to all its allies. Well, that's good. Take that. I never re-equipped this. That's a problem. I got empty slots. Play heals a career of your choice. Probably the tanky one, right? Yeah. And I, this could have been helping me. Um, get some he get some heals for us. Uh, battle end. If in the lead, who tends to end so far? This guy's in the at the end of the battle in the lead quite a bit. Times in a row. Get the equipment on. That would have helped. That would have helped a lot. Alright, we got the money now. I can, get that, I can get that extra die. Give me that die. I'm on a roll, they say. Yeah, regular die. Take it. Thank you. Just gives me... I mean, it's not... Eh. It's got an attack. It's got a choose rotation. It's got four idols, though. Be nice to replace those with better things. Um, An attack... That's expensive, but it's a good one to put on there. Can't afford anything right now, so don't worry about it. Mm, we want to go this way. I need more money. Probably need to heal too. But yeah, need to heal. Plus four strength, plus eleven thorns. So the plus four strength is affecting the thorns. So that's good. I don't know if it's affecting the the buckler. Let's attack early from these guys. Mmm. Idle. If I use this, it rerolls that and maybe get something better. Um, use their idol for sure. Do I want you to attack? There's a world where I can reroll you and not have the attack. I don't know that I want to hit a reckless attack. Mm. Ah, here, if I rotate you, that's all the sooner you're going to get back and delete. Let's rotate, I guess. Enemy rotation hits for 11. And I'm going to reroll all here. Okay, it's not what I would have wanted, unfortunately. It also mirrors... It mirrors the opponent's attack, so I can hit them with a clash attack if I really want to. You hit for eight. I survive. I... Hmm. I can't mirror my incapacitated thing, my thing, unfortunately. That's a lot of damage on you. Oh, it hit for eight. So... Maybe the buckler did get affected by something? Sometimes the buckler hits for six, sometimes for eight, and I don't understand the difference. I can take you out. You, no matter what I do, will come into lead with focus. I can just... The mirror does nothing here. Let's say rotate. Do I want to rotate? I think we need to heal. I think we need to heal. Just all there's to it. Heals everybody up. Now do I want to rotate? I mean, no, not really. You got thorns. Let's take this guy out. No burn stacks from them. Okay, good to start. I need to get a guard next round. Miss the rotation because you're incapacitated. And... Mirror does nothing because... You know... The thing. It did re-roll these, though. Do I, do I want to rotate to the left? I don't know what to do. And turn. Turn start, hit for eight. Confusion stacks. I feel the like confusion stacks are not doing a lot. You get a guard, but I don't. How's that fair? Use a free rotation. Hmm... Wait, if you guard, I can... Mirror the guard. There's a thought. You guard. I mirror the guard. Ha ha. And then our clash attack negates each other. And you might actually get uh, some like spike effect from that or something. Yeah. Yes. Yes. No, it did six. Didn't do eight before. I don't understand this buckler. 
attack restraint. Oh, I'm stupid. It's the the buckler's based on their attack. Okay. And the th but, but the the scimitar is affecting my thorns though. My brain. I thought the the buckler was based on my attack because I'm dumb. I could reroll all and hopefully get something other than uh, something better than this combo. I mean, no, not really. Do I want to hit with the? Uh, no, let's get hit for eleven. Good hits, incapacitated, and turn some of that extra die is not doing a lot. Good hit there. More confusion. We could get up to 13. Got, I mean, we've got lethal here, I think. I should put you in the front because I get more healing. Oh, I forgot about that. Maybe I do need that thing on him. Or just rotate. Oh, we still get that healing, but I could have got more healing than that other item. Maybe we do want that on this guy, but I mean. I could, I definitely, a bunch of spicy, one strength the whole team, yes. Alright, so how's this working? So the buckler is not being buffed by this, but the thorns are, and the thorns actually do a lot. Um, you had seven, this, the, I saw the thorns were at eleven. So, maybe it's just random which triggers first, because this buffed me, no, this, oh no, this gives me, would take me down to six, yes. So this is helping, so both of these, both of these are improving the thorns. And this thing just has nothing to do with my attack, it's the, it's the enemy's attack. Explains a lot, but still useful. And... I don't have equipment to have that in the lead for you. This doesn't do much. Hmm... I feel like you... I mean, it's hit and miss. I don't know. Hmm... Alright, we'll call good. We'll call good. Traveler, what you got for me? Give me something good. Might take two hours this video. Ah, man. Editing. <laughs> Might be necessary. Ah, not gonna bother. This game's just not popping enough to bother editing. Uh, gain, give 11 gold. Gain max hit point increasing equipment. Give me some damage dealing equipment. Yeah. What we got? Give me a good one this time. No more dice deals one damage to all opponents up to six times. That kind of sucks, man. I paid nine golds for, for that. That's only six damage. I have to use all my dice, which I often don't do. Um... And, I mean, that might sometimes, that might trigger an opponent's counterattack ability. Ugh, you suck, I don't want that. I, don't want th I mean, it is six damage, I mean, some fights could be good. Um, I think this is probably gonna do more value than that. I mean, this, at least I don't have to, like, do the, this is, exit lead does nine damage. This is six per turn, guaranteed, if I use the dice, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Nice if we could sell it, give me something good. Gold, good. Revives or lightly heals. Hmm. Don't really need it. Took him to full. That's not great. Want to be a little bit hurt for that to trigger. Oh well. Lightly heals the whole team. All right. Well, might have been better not to. Frankly, gives us. I should have waited. Yeah, because it gives us more of these. All right. Oh well. Get the gold though. I need the gold. I need the gold, so I can maybe buy stuff. What you got? Hmm. Mirror tokens not bad. I mean, a full heal is pretty good. Another die to help in the final boss fight could be very, very good. End of turn, if in lead, gain plus two gold. Well, that's not worth 40. I remember in a failed run I did before this one, it only cost 16 I got in the first area. Price changes. Luck base affects the item holder and its other equipment have more chance. I don't think I have any luck base stuff. Um, plus four hit points. None of these are blowing my mind. I don't want any of these. Maybe that. Maybe. I think I'd rather get those. I'd rather improve that one die I have. Although, what's better? I mean, for the final boss fight, I'm better just having two extra dice. Like, I could, oh yeah, put change one die face on this, dice face on this to this, or literally buy two dice for the final boss, right? Maybe that'd be better? I think that'd be better. I think that'd be better indeed. Although, like, in the fights up to that point. Nice hit right out the gates. Confusion. I like this game, but it feels like a run feels long. I like my runs for Rogue to take like an hour. I mean, just as I get faster, the game will go faster. Freeze one. Don't love that. I could try re-rolling their dice and I have a freeze one. That's this combo of guys again. Mmm. Clash with you and six is not bad. I mean, I could re-roll myself a taunt. I'm going to take the clash here. I don't mind that because, you know, my counterattack damage is pretty good here. I rotate you guys? I mean... I don't want you to attack. Maybe I do want you to attack. 
Do I reroll all? I don't love my stuff. I could do my range attack first. Might run, might get a different one. Might get two incapacitates. Let's just do my attack here. That's eight damage, right? Reroll everything. We can mirror that, or we just do a regular attack. There we go. You mirror. Hmm. I mean, I could force you to attack again with only six damage. Could work. What if I just, uh, attacked you here? And then I forced you, then I mirrored my attack again. More damage on you. Then I forced you to mirror me back. And you t and I'll take you out of the equation, like so. You rotate. You take some damage. What do you do? No effect. You're just tanky and strong. Need to not hurt you if all possible. Um, I mean, you're going to get hurt though, unfortunately, because enter lead, gains focus. It's not great. Random rotation. Don't you need to be hurt for that? I guess I hurt you before your ability activated. All right. I didn't need to rotate there, did I? Whoops. Hmm. I rotated at the end. I can mirror that rotation and reroll stuff. Hmm. Strengthen one. I mean, he only hits for 12, so I mean, it's kind of 12's kind of a lot. I'd rather just rotate you guys. And then rotate back over here. And why do you. Oh, because of this, because he left the lead. Hey, let's go. Strengthen you. And so I do it again. Do I. Hey, yeah, we do it again. Mirror the, the strength increase. We clash attack first, which is going to hit for 10, better than your 12. Like so. Uh oh, my guy might be able to get, might get knocked out here. Unless th If this is another attack, I might be able to get knocked out. Reckless attack, clear you out. Incapacitated. And any rotation, I miss because I'm incapacitated. You get focus, please. Rotate, not attack. Crap, all right, he's out. Um, I didn't have a heal anyways. We can resurrect him somehow, right? And end our turn. I'm getting like no value out of this guy. No, it's time for that to change. You attacked me last turn, so if I mirror, I should just attack you. Right? Or I could buff myself. Now let's just get, get the extra damage, right? Yeah, 16 attack like that. Then we can strengthen ourselves. I feel like I could be getting more value of this guy, right? Only attacks once. Yeah. Should have clash attack first. I will just rotate to this guy. This guy needs to be hurt anyway, especially attacks. It's our turn. And we end our turn here. And there we go. All right. Getting a guy KO'd was not great, though. I don't have... Maybe I can buy something to resurrect a KO. Okay, healing yourself is not... I mean, uh, heal him a little bit. Not all the way, but a little bit. Okay. I keep not ending that guy in the front, so maybe he's not the guy to have that on. Band intent, what you got for me? So travel bags. Maybe... Who do we want it on? If I could give this guy more passive strength. Yeah, let's give it to this guy. Give it to you. And let's give you the passive strength. And you can, uh, no more dice attack randomly. I need to resurrect that guy. If I go to the shop, I can probably buy something to resurrect him. Hmm. Fully heals. That's not a resurrect, though. Repeats previous action. How does one fully... How does one resurrect here? How does one resurrect in this world? Debris? I don't think so. I mean, that does improve stuff. What's that one, one going to improve for us? Three max hit points? No. Give me that. Dicesmith, do you have a resurrect token for me? I saw someone somewhere. Might have been the previous area. Fusion tokens. All right. Uh, gonna buy these. We need them. I wish, it, I wish it didn't take so long to switch from one screen to another. But it must load, I suppose. Give us this. Got three extra die. Oh, I can use them early if I need to. Check this battle. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I should have changed my equipment here, actually. This might be the end of the run. This might be the might be it for us here. Should change my equipment a bit. I mean, I'm still doing alright, but could be better. Mmm. Blame. Removes buffs on the opposing leader. I don't have any buffs, do I? Let's find out. Yep, no buffs. You only attack for five. It's probably fine for us here. And, uh, why'd you take 40 damage back? Oh, confusion. And we'll rotate you later. Let's get a nice attack here. 
and then we will uh, reckless attack. Get rotated first. Free rotation. Oh, God. oh I just oh I rotated for me already. I guess I have a guard up on somebody. Maybe you. I win this with two bonus points. Rotate. Let's get this guy in the lead here. Give him a shield. Don't love it. End our turn. Turn start breaks the shield. Gives him confusion. Got two reckless. Don't love that. Hmm. Buff this guy. Use their idle die. Uh, clash attack to pop my shield. Take no damage. And then just rotate him. It's not bad. Make sure my guy also does the attack before he gets incapacitated. I can rotate him whenever. What do you want to do here? I can reckless attack. Do this reckless attack. And then rotate. So the other guy can attack too. More damage in. If we win with two, like, let's go, right? And... Yeah, oh, this is great. We can rotate. There we go. There are the knives doing some value, although that hurt him, which is not so great. We attack you for two attacks. There we go. I could have changed my equipment off this guy to buff these guys even better, I think, but we're still kind of doing it, kind of doing it right. Let's rotate... not the Svindel into the front. Luckily... Oh, I see, that's how it works. Alright. End our turn. Turn start. Damage on you. More confusion stacks. If you attack... We got a guard here. Use your idle. I can guard. You can attack. And... You'd KO yourself and not shield the next guy. Do that right there. Beautiful. You're gone. Get some money. If this guy attacks, he gets KO'd as well. Um... I have to use a random rotation. This guy's gonna end up in the lead regardless. Rotate or what. Um... If I'm gonna get attacked, 10 is better than 16, but I feel like 2 damage on you is a waste. I mean, we gotta do it either way, right? Hmm. We don't want to trip. I think we just uh, take you out. And there's no need for the rotates. Do you lose focus at the end of your turn? I don't know. Turn start, hit you for 11, that's good. More confusion stacks on you. You don't lose your focus. You're gonna hit for 16 is gross. But I have a shield. Big value, shield boys. Shield boys are shielding. The, 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 getting very lucky with the shields here is doing great things for us. That's a lot of attacks. Let's go ahead and uh, just attack you again. Because we got all these attack die all of a sudden doing great things for us. There we go. We're getting very lucky in the dice here. Which is good because we're a man down. Hit you that reckless attack and body you. Barely took any damage. Did great. Guards doing work. Amazing value. Sacred beads, healing the wrong guy again. Is it more likely to heal the guy who's holding it? Okay. Oh, that, oh hey, ended the right guy. Uh, inflict bleed amount equal to ally leader's strength imposing guy. I can't... I have room for it. What, what do I get rid of? I have nobody that benefits from the, the intelligence. Discard that. Give us this. I can't remember I can sleep people too. I should change my build around here a little bit, although it kind of worked out for us. I feel like the confusion, it does maybe like 5 or 10 damage total. I feel like having plus 4 strength on this guy would be more useful. No, don't do that. And... This didn't do that much. I mean... The healing is good, but... Being strong, better? I mean, this guy's actually fighting a lot now. So... Getting this guy's strength up as much as possible is probably a pretty solid choice. Because he'll hit for, you know, when he attacks twice, hits for 20. Then again, this guy, I mean, it's kind of even, right? The value provides. Uh, thorns. Exit lead, deal damage. Wait, what does this do? Plus three hit points, don't care. The healing, healing, useful, but not right now. Inf inflicts confusion. On spawn attacks, most vulnerable opponent once. If that's on you, wouldn't you attack twice? Maybe even it out a little bit? Wait, why are you at eight? Oh, because you are... Hmm. But then getting both hit triggers before this it doesn't get full value. We'll do this. We'll do that. And... I mean, if an elite heals five hit points... Uh, so it's five, ten. This is up to, up to twelve. Keep that one. Some healing would be good. 
we continue. Do I want to start with this guy in the lead? I could start with this guy in the lead. Might be better. Make sure we get their attack right away. Brood berries. This might have the thing that rises somebody if I'm lucky. No. Plus one strength. I'm just going to give it to you. You're going to be my hero now that I'm a man down. I can resurrect here. What to do? Rest. Yes. Now we're back. Now we're back. Now we're back. So I didn't need to do that. Forgot about the, the resting thing. I forgot there's a resting thing, which means... I'll uh, go back to the way we had it. Or maybe I want to try it with this guy being strong for attacks. This guy's not... He doesn't have that much health anyways, right? Maybe you can be my guy doing the healing. And have some thorns and spiky buckler, because why not? And you can hold more hit points, sure. And then you can have confusion stacks. Sure. Hmm, do I fight you for money? Or the boss? I don't know if I can handle. Uh, what if you give me something good? What do you give me the goods? This game might get a video like once a week or a couple times a week because well, that's a time consumer. I got other things I gotta do. Okay, we're attacking right away. I do like it though. It's fun. Just just wish the videos didn't take so long. I wish YouTube was in the air where you could put, do let's plays of like here's part one, part two, part three, but nope, it's gotta be one video. It's all gonna be one one run, one video. That's how it works. These guys, these combo again. I could choose a taunt here. I can't re-roll it. I could use a taunt on somebody to force the re-roll. Um, 100 hit points. Why do you have more hit points than normal? Why are you guys getting more hit points? I don't like that. Use this. I can rotate this guy in. They only attack for six. It's fine. I could taunt this guy. Well, first strengthen up you. That's good value. I could taunt you to take the six damage and get some thorns value. Is it a random alley? No, I target one. And that re-rolls these other things. Could be good. Taunt you. Actually should have taunted my like highness now that I think about it. Oh well. I can use these if need be. Alright, didn't get the re-rolls I was looking for. So you attack them. Get a little bit of counterattack damage there. It's still kind of nice. So I'm not sure who's better to buff here. Reckless attack on you as well. We attack twice there. Oh, when it's incapacitated, it doesn't work. That makes him a lot less useful. Incapacitated, he only gets the first attack. How about your guys' burn there? Hmm. Energy shock. It does their damage, but there's no counterattack for like this guy's ability or anything. I'm not sure if it triggers that fire damage. Uh, it says only six, so maybe not. I can rotate random. I can reroll all and not go for the shock. I'd rather get a clash attack than a shock, at least I can counterattack with that. I could taunt. I can just do an attack here. Let's do a nice little double attack. And then I can reroll all. Get two question marks. And get another attack here, which should soften you up a little bit. Here we go. It gets attacked twice. I, I thought his I thought his Attack, attack same target once. Oh, it's not that he can only use that once per fight. It's that when he attacks, it just duplicates it, but only one time. So you can't like have him attack like ten times in a row. But he always attacks for two when I do my attack command. So that makes him even better than I thought. Even better than I thought. I probably want to taunt you. Would be good. Random, they rotate. Random, they rotate. And that's so I'll say not bad for us. Puts burn on this guy. I need this guy to not take a hit. He's stacking up burns, unfortunately. I can use a guard to not take damage from it. Energy shock. Um, I want that. I can mirror something. Hmm. What do I mirror? I can't mirror my incapacity. I can mirror a guard. Would be good. Guard two people. Not bad. I could do... I could taunt this guy. I want to get rid of this guy. Random taunt. Oh, what to you? All right, well, whatever. We, uh, we attack you. Well, it does focus you up, unfortunately, but I don't know. I don't have a rotate here. It might rotate. And we rotate. No, we, uh, oh, I can't. So it'll, it'll just, it'll mirror the rotate, wouldn't it? Bummer. Hmm. We guard. We rotate. Hmm. We do this and hopefully get something good over here. Maybe just another idle. And another free rotation. I guess get this guy with the guard back in the front. And do your random, which is an attack. 
Why'd you hit him? Because he had a taunt on or something? Maybe. Energy shock. Bypasses guard. Good to know. Didn't affect the, the didn't affect the so it ignores effects down here, ignores the shield. Good to know. We're learning. So much burn on this guy. I guess I have all the burn on one guy that you don't want to hit. And probably wanna Oh, that's good dice there. Bulk up you. I wanna rotate. I don't have a rotate on these guys. I can do so much damage right here. Yeah, putting the stats on this guy is great. A, a comma is doing work here at the end for us. And then, you are not focused. You only hit for eight. This guy hits for ten. I mean, I've got a shield. It doesn't matter. So, get you out of here. Incapacitated. And you can uh, just uh, random rotates. Fine. Lucky. Attack. Guarded. Guess we're going to freeze this guy. This guy cannot take a hit. Although he just goes down. Rotate him out of the way, just in case. Oh, I need his, I need his attack power, frankly. Turn end. I mean, one hit, and this guy's toast. He's a glass cannon and a half. He's in so much trouble. Oh. Wait, this uh, this probably works. I mean, first of all, we just guard here. Solves a lot of problems. Attack with this on you. Does uh, 26. Man, he's doing so much work. Oh, man. Now I know how he works properly. Yeah, he's, he's, he's real good. Should have sold equipment more... In should have gotten uh, more Sony equipment packs on him. A little bit of healing there from that. Better than the other one, because I never remember to put the right guy in the front for the other one. Traveler's backpack. On equip, plus one equipment slots. On unequip, minus two strength forever. Okay. So here's the thing. How does this even work? You use an equipment slot to add one equipment slot? Uh, how do... Like, I have three equipment slots and three of these items on. So if I remove this and put this in this slot, okay, I've got a fourth equipment slot, but this is still taking one up, so I still have effectively one, two, three items equipped. Huh? I mean, we can try it. It's worth a shot. Maybe it gives me two? Nope. Useless. You're useless. You serve absolutely no purpose. You, you get, you both add and subtract an equipment slot at the same time. You do nothing. Why do you exist? <laughs> What's the purpose of this? Maybe you can buff it or something. I don't, maybe you want to reduce strength on a character. I don't understand the point of that. It's literally useless. Leader, leader attacks plus 100% of damage dealt. Now I'm forever pinned to this guy can only have four items max. I can never do five unless I reduce to his strength, right? Leader attacks plus double damage dealt, misses if that enemy has unused dice. I kind of want that. Put that over here. Yeah, that's great. Keep it cooking. All right, and I got 58 gold in a dream. Beat this boss, win this run. Man, I, was, I can't believe how long it takes to, <laughs> to make a video on this game. Um, rotate in the desired direction. I mean, getting strength for that one guy is really nice, actually. Target any Chimera, leader attacks it. I mean, another attack thing is good too, but... I mean, just just give me, just give me, uh... I want... The rerolls sometimes come in handy. Give us, give those idols. 22 gold, do I want... Confusion? I mean, I could, that, that could be like 15 confusion, they attack and deal 15 self damage, or it could be good. Other choices, what we got? Leader repeats the previous action used. I mean, if he attacks for like 30 and I use this, that's an extra 30 damage. It could be pretty good. A full heal, also pretty good. I'll keep I don't have room for a lot of things. I guess get rid of one. Um. Hmm. The bleed. I mean, I could apply. F I'm applying 15 stacks of bleed is nuts value. 15. Uh, sleep on the opposing leader just protects me from one attack. I could just do a full heal. I think a full heal is more useful than one sleep. Unless the boss is, like, hitting for 50, right? Because sleep basically stops from attacking you one time, so you avoid 10 damage one time. It's like the equivalent of a guard. Alright, boss, here we go. And hopefully this is the last boss. There's some seeker boss, otherwise I'll be wasting my three, uh, uh dice thing here. Galvarin. Alright, attack right away there. Fusion. Extra attack over there. Confusion. Plus four strength, okay. Rotation. Once per turn, grants his eyes 
one strength rest of the battle. So we might want to take this guy's allies out quick because they're going to get out of control with the rotates. What's this do? Leader stays idle. You're going to rotate. I mean, idle is good. We like that. That's a good dice roll for us. One and six for that. You rotating make your guys... I need to take these guys out quick. Rotation. Small chance of getting focused to ally leader. Oh boy. This, these guys love rotation. And this die has at least four rotations on it. I could reroll and hopefully not have rotation on it. You hit her 10. I need to, like, take out your allies first. First of all, uh, we use these. Give me these. How many, like, can I have here? I can only have six dice! I wasted! What does this one, what does this one do? Entangle. Wait! This is a great one to have. In effect, a chimera misses its next rotation as a leader. It must try to rotate once or to end its condition. That's huge! We definitely want to ro entangle you so your next rotation doesn't count. We don't want these guys rotating at all, ever. Ha ha, no rotation for you. That's great. You still attack for 10. Mmm, what do we want to do here? I could reckless attack with this guy. I mean, he, this guy's only going to get one attack. Because of reckless. I mean, I could rotate. Have somebody else attack. Um, I'm going to rotate. Have you attack and then re-roll these dice. And then maybe I can rotate back if I'm lucky. No, unfortunately, that's... I should have saved the rotation dice? Should have attacked first and then rotate, rotate it. Alright, whatever. I will strengthen you. Woe and Lament, I can't use these to any avail, unfortunately. Flash attack over here. That's a big hit, but... A little bit of counterattack damage. Something, not bad. Get some value of this guy. Do I want to heal this guy so he can take some more hits? I mean, I might. I think I might want to heal this guy to keep him alive because he's just... A damage dealer. What's this? Clash attack. Alright. Rotation. Use the idol. Hmm. I don't have the reroll for you guys. Freeze one. An attack against an infected commander deals double damage. That's good. Um. We're gonna strengthen you. The question is do I heal this guy? I think healing you might be really, really good. Keeping you alive could be really, really useful for us. Use on you. 29 health is more than I ever get from either of you. And uh, this guy does have, like, you know, take, taking abuse value. That way you can, um, you know, get here and you do, like, that's what, 9, 14. I mean, that's 24 counterattack damage, is very nice. You guys are going to rotate, is the problem. Should have frozen you first. I can still freeze you. I'm gonna focus, maybe I'm focusing on the boss first. I think he has their two hit points combined. It's not that far from just taking him out, if at all possible. The rotation stuff will be a bit of an issue for us, though. Hmm. I, 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 I want to try to rotate here and. Yes! That's what I wanted. Now we can do a range attack over here and hit for 138 because of the double damage, because the ice, big value. That die we used there, that bonus die was doing great things for us. Good to know you can only have up to six max here. That re rolled an idle, okay. Rotate here, so you're going to buff uh, everybody's strength, including your own. And you give focus to whoever goes into the lead. Do I get bonus for using all my die here? I don't think I do. End turn, but still not bad. First turn, he's down to 78 hit points. It's pretty good. I would love to rotate you back into the lead, if at all possible. I mean, I've got the range attack to target you is good. Bleed. Inflicts amount of bleed equal to ally leader strength on the opposing leader. That'd be good. Need to rotate this guy to the front. I mean, we can... I want to reroll all? First of all, I think doing this on you is good value. If I beat you, I just win. So you are at... Yeah, if I, if I beat you, I just 40 damage to you and I win. I could rotate and hopefully you go to the front. Energy shock of 8 damage from you is better than 11 damage from this guy. We would survive. I could rotate it to somebody else if I really want to. I'll just take. I think we'll be okay. And... Boss to the front. Nice. I can damage you again. And I can hit you with... Well, first of all, I can hit you with a bleed. I mean, that'll that'll use your, rot use your guy's desire to rotate against you. What if I were to... Taunt this guy. And then... Oh, no. no maybe I can rotate him to the front now I got a guard? No, unlucky. All right, fine. Have a guard. And you're going to attack the guy who doesn't have the thing, unfortunately. But the counterattack damage will take you out. And we win very quickly. Stormbringer defeats Galvirin.
love that for us. The question is, is there like a final true boss or is that like the end of the run? Hey, there we go. First key, bringing the warrior talisman to Salem's door. All right. Fun. And we unlock some stuff here and we, and we did it. Uh, Storm talisman unlocked. New adventure this talisman. New unlock curse. You can now loot cursed equipment. That's cool. The stone has appeared. Don't know what that is. Sacred text. Contest at the companion. Okay. And we unlocked a uh, new chimera. Cool. Nice art. And another one. Love it. And that and that's and that's the end of the video. You'd love to see it. Now I have plenty more videos you can watch too. Also, shout out if you watch this entire thing and didn't just skip to the end. I mean, even if you skip the end, thanks for hanging out, but long one. Like a straight up movie. <laughs> Great second monitor content. But that's it. See you next time.